This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin, open the saved grand opening file from the previous lesson. To assign a vinyl color to the entire job, click Select All. Move the pointer across the swatch colors on the bottom of the screen to locate Geranium Red and click on it. After you find the correct color, click Arrange, Combine On. To view the color in your job, click View, Filled, and choose Design View. This shows what the job output would currently look like. Next, click Wireframe View and choose the Vinyl Colors option. This will show all the vinyls you are currently using in your job. At this point, save your job in Composer before continuing. To output a job to be cut or printed, click File, Output All. The GSP plot window will open. From this window, you can output your job to a printer or plotter. To swap the axis of the design, click the Axis Swap icon in the GSP Plot toolbar. This rotates the job 90 degrees, which may be useful when printing or cutting on different lengths of material. Click on the icon again to undo the rotation. Reversing the design is essential for graphics being viewed through a clear substrate or material being applied using a heat transfer device. Click the reverse icon in the GSP Plot toolbar to cut the design in reverse. The design is viewed as if looking from the back. Click on the icon again to undo the effect. Panel lines are cut lines placed in the job when it exceeds the cutting area of the designated plotter. The amount of panel lines in a job depends on the plotter you plan to use. The current layout in the grand opening file does not require panels. Click Layout, Layout to open the Layout dialog box. Change the settings in size larger than 15 inches in height. This way a panel line is added to the job. Position the pointer over the panel line. The pointer changes to a pair of scissors. Click and drag the panel line so it is positioned between the text and the top of the border. Notice that the panel line cannot move below or above certain parameters. This is because it cannot make the panel larger than the cutting area. To add panel lines to the job, position the pointer in the horizontal ruler. Click and drag a panel line into the design. When the panel line is in the position you would like to keep, release the mouse button to set the line. To remove a line, simply drag it off of the job. Click the Device Select icon to open the Plotter Printer Select dialog box. Choose a plotter from the list, for example the Envision 375. Click Settings to open the Plotter Settings dialog box. Use the slider bars to change the settings. If the correct material for the job is loaded, the default plotter settings should not need to be changed. Click OK when you are finished. When you are ready to send the design to a plotter, click the Cut and Pounce icon. Refer to your plotter manual for specific cutting instructions. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.